Welcome to my best online course platform review. Here I'm going to be giving you the quick cliff notes when it comes to software, creation tools, and of course platforms. I say cliff notes because what I'm going to do is leave deeper into the description reviews for some of the bigger online course software platforms. So if you want to learn much more about them, I can help you out there. With this, I'm going to give you some of the best picks based upon what they have to offer, starting with the first one, which is going to be my powerhouse pick of Kartra. Now, you might not be too familiar with Kartra, given the fact that they're more known for, you say, creating their landing pages, their sales funnels, their email automation, but they happen to have an absolutely fantastic membership, which is great for uploading and, of course, selling your courses. Kartra is probably going to be for you if you're looking for more of an all-in-one platform that also happens to have a fantastic membership area. You get almost everything under one roof. And the reason why I say almost because they don't have webinars specifically for the fact that they already have separate software for that called EverWebinar for your automated webinars and Webinar Jam for your live webinars. It's very rare to see an all-in-one platform excel at so many features, and Kartra manages to do that. Just by highlighting over this right here, you can see that they have a lot going on when it comes to checkout, generating leads, creating your landing pages and sales funnels, email marketing along with advanced email marketing, memberships, surveys and quizzes, video hosting, even help desks, calendars, forums, and affiliates. Kartra almost does it all, and they're certainly going to be a valuable pick if you don't mind starting off spending a little bit more, but the value is certainly going to be there based upon all the high quality and advanced features that they have for you to not only upload your course, but sell it and make many more sales in the future. If you would like to test out Kartra, I will leave a link down below in the description where they come with a $1 trial. Up next, we're going to have the easiest to use pick, and that's going to be Teachable. The thing about Teachable is that they've been around for so long, and they clearly understand when it comes to the creation process. For you, what that means is that you can get up and running very quickly. Much of the process is going to be step by step, especially when it comes to uploading your course, adding to your curriculum, giving it a price, and of course, publishing it and having it go live. What's even better about that, the reason why I find them so easy to use is that you might not even need too many tutorials. And that's a great thing, especially if you consider yourself like a technophobe or you're not really good when it comes to using new software. I think you're going to have a blast when it comes to using Teachable. What's also great about them is the flexibility, especially when it comes to creating curriculums, whether you want to add videos, text, PDFs, quizzes, or maybe just a combination of those, just so that you can give your students some of the best experiences possible. What I also love about Teachable is their fantastic sales increasing features. Two great ones that come to mind are going to be the order bumps and upsells, which are a great way of increasing your revenue and sales. I talk about order bumps all the time. What that allows you to do is add an extra offer on your checkout page. And all someone has to do is click a button that says like, I want that. And it immediately gets added to the order. It's a phenomenal way of increasing your sales. And I think it's little things like that that can really go a long way, especially when it comes to increasing your revenue and sales over time. And of course, giving your students and customers much more of what they need. So if you're looking for easeability when it comes to getting up and running, maybe you're a technophobe and you want something that's a little bit easier to use and, and has stood the test of time, given the fact Teachable has been out for so long, I would definitely recommend checking them out. They get my easiest to use pick and you can get started for free with them as well down below with the link in the description. All right, so next up is going to be my simplest pick, which can be a little bit different from the easiest pick, and that's going to be Podia. So what I got out of them is that just about everything I used was simple to set up, and that's a good thing. What I mean by simple is the fact that a lot of these things are going to be pretty basic overall, but the features are going to be great nevertheless. For example, they have things that other platforms might not have. For example, they do have a community builder, which is great. And that's going to be beneficial because, for example, you won't need to get a separate Facebook group. You could just utilize it in there. Everything's going to be under that platform. And there's going to be no further distractions from going somewhere else. They also have emails where you can utilize their follow-ups. All are going to be, in my opinion, pretty basic. So I think there's a pro and con to that when something is going to be very simple overall. I like simple stuff because I know that simple is usually what does really well. But on the other hand, you're not going to get many advanced features. And that was kind of what I talked about in my review. A lot of the basic stuff is going to be here. A lot of the simplicity is going to be here. But you might be lacking on maybe more of the advanced bells and whistles that other platforms might have. If that's not what you're all about, well, then you're going to probably like Podia as they get my simplest pick when it comes to the online course platforms. Once again, you can try them out for free as well, which is always a good thing. I will leave a link for them as well in the description. All right, so when it comes to an all-in-one pick, we have Learn World. So I know I talked about Kartra being an all-in-one pick, but there's going to be a slight difference here, say, between Kartra and Learn Worlds. 
Here, there is a huge emphasis on learn worlds, and they also happen to be an all-in-one builder. With Kartra, there's a huge emphasis on, say, landing pages and sales funnels, and they also happen to be an all-in-one builder and do fantastic memberships. So the core focus here is going to be more on courses, and because of that, you're getting many more bells and whistles when it comes to learn worlds. For example, they have many things that many other platforms might not even have, such as like assessments, certificates. They do have webinars, something that Kartra doesn't have. They have their survey builder, pop-ups, interactive videos, and just so much more. Something also I want to bring up with Learn Worlds is the fact that they do have a lot of those advanced features and so on and so forth. There might be a little bit more of a learning curve with them, and that's something I have found out. They weren't as easy or simple to set up or get up and running compared to, say, Teachable or Podia, but I don't think you're going to have the most amount of difficulty when it comes to using them. That was just my personal experience, and that usually can be the case when you have many more advanced features to look through, to go through, and of course utilize when it comes to getting up and running with your course. Nevertheless, Learn Worlds can certainly be a great home for you and your courses if you want more of that all in one pick when it comes to having everything geared towards your courses and, of course, having many more features to go along with it. They also come with the ability to start for free. I will leave a link down below for them in the description as well. Right. And when it comes to this online course platform software, this is going to be the unique pick and this is going to be PayHip. What separates PayHip from all the other platforms we looked at so far is going to be the uniqueness of how they set up their pricing and their structure. Now, with all the previous software tools that we've looked at for creating and running your online courses, what they do is that every time you increase in your pricing plan, you get more features, you get more perks, you get more benefits. With PayHip, it's going to be different. Every single pricing plan gives you every single feature you have. However, if you want to upgrade, you're going to be doing that to remove more of the transaction fees. So as you grow and you get more sales, what you can do is upgrade to reduce a lot of those transactions until you ultimately get to the final plan where you have zero transactions whatsoever. So with that being said, though, that's the big reason why PayHip is going to get my unique pick. As another way of saying kind of an honorable mention, that's going to be PayHip. Once again, they come with the ability to use them for free. And once, of course, you want to upgrade, that's going to help remove a lot of the transaction fees that come with selling your courses. I will leave a link down below for them as well. All right, and we have two more picks, which are going to be slightly different from the previous ones. I wanted to kind of separate these because there is going to be a lot of similarities and some big differences. The big differences from, say, Udemy and Skillshare, which I'm going to talk about now from the previous platforms, is that these are going to be more of marketplaces where individuals go not only to upload and sell their courses, but where people can go to learn. And so for my big organic traffic pick, it's going to be Udemy. So I did some research, and apparently in 2022, Udemy had over 57 million users. So if you are the individual maybe who's just getting started and would like a boost from organic traffic, Udemy can certainly be that platform for you. There's just so many students on there. They're always giving discounts. There's always going to be some type of coupon when it comes to buying courses. That might be for you if you're looking to say sell a lot of smaller courses that don't happen to be as long and they might be lower priced. Udemy also differentiates from them is because you can just go on there and upload your course for free. But keep in mind, it's going to be very limited and you don't have as much control compared to all the other platforms that I talked about previously, where you can pretty much keep whatever you want and do whatever you want when it comes to your pricing, your sales, you know, the extra bells and whistles, the upsells, the order bumps, and so much more. Nevertheless, Udemy is going to be a fantastic platform if you want that big organic traffic that can come along with it. And last but not least, very similar to Udemy is probably going to be one of its biggest competitors, Skillshare. So this takes the pick for the niche organic traffic pick. What I mean by that is that Udemy comes with a ton of traffic as we talked about. But on the other hand, Skillshare is going to be fantastic if you're looking for a specific niche to help you get up and running. Once again, they're good because you can just go on there for free, upload your classes. It's going to be helpful if you add some marketing to that, but you will get that nice boost of organic traffic should you do things right. You sell some great courses and of course, people find out about it where you can get more sales that way. To really be a little bit more specific, Skillshare actually created a specific help article talking about some of the in-demand class topics. That's why I called it niched organic traffic. So if you plan on creating courses in any of these down below, we have illustration, fine art, graphic design, more design, animation, photography, film and video, marketing, freelance and entrepreneurship, crafts and lifestyle, music, creative writing, and productivity and health and wellness. Those are some of their biggest niches here where you're probably going to get the most amount of traffic. If you're in any of those niches and you're looking to create classes where you can get some in-demand organic traffic, then Skillshare might be your best bet. 
Something else I also talked about is that marketplaces like Udemy and Skillshare can be great, say, if you're going to be newer, maybe you don't have as much experience, and maybe you're not that great at marketing your courses. It's going to be a great way for you to get up and running. Maybe if you're a newbie, you just want to start selling some courses, get an idea about how it works. Then, of course, you can always transition to the other platforms where you can choose your prices, sell for premium prices, and, of course, have much more flexibility and freedom in what you're going to be doing when it comes to actually creating your classes, but selling them as well. So that's going to conclude my best online course platform comparison when it comes to plenty of software tools, platforms, and of course, some marketplaces that you can utilize to not only leverage what you have to offer, but sell it and of course, get paid for your expertise. If you have any questions whatsoever, I imagine you might. I know there's so much to cover when it comes to diving into platforms like this. There's so many features, so many benefits, so many pricing plans. Feel free to leave a comment down below. If you want even more information about some of these bigger software platforms, I will leave my links for the reviews down in the description where I can actually give you tutorials and demos about how they work so you can see for yourself and get a better idea. And of course, if any of these sound interesting to you as well, I will have my links down below where you can check them out. Most come with trials or free access, so you can always do that and formulate your own opinion to see what's going to work the best for you, your online courses. My name is James. I hope this video helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.